Okay guys, so let's begin with this first problem of our height and distance. And I'm going to tell you a very basic concept before beginning. And that is for any kind of this, this type of height and distance problem. The first thing is to draw the geometri geometrical figure because except for drawing those figure you can't solve the problem because in all this condition most of the time it always start to form a kind of triangle that's why uh, you apply the trigonometric rules so in, you must have a triangle to work with right so uh, so whatever question they provide you ultimately you need to draw that triangle of your dream so let's draw it now two ships are sailing in the sea on the two sides of a lighthouse the angle of elevation of the of the top of the lighthouse is observed from the ship are 30 degree and 45 degree rep respectively the lighthouse is uh, length is given the distance between the ships you need to calculate so so if this is the side so one lighthouse is there and two ships are sailing at the opposite direction from the lighthouse so let us draw this image first because that's the most important point so if that is the, so if, if this is the lighthouse let's let's draw it a and b let's assume this a b as a lighthouse okay and let's say this is the point this is the bottom point of the lighthouse and through this point both the ships are sailing away so both the ships are going in these two different directions they are going in the opposite direction line c and d and they're telling that the the angle of elevation of the top of the lighthouse is observed from the ship from the ship to the top of the lighthouse this is the angle of elevation so let us draw it with this and this is found to be is this particular value so let us make it thin so let's make it like yeah this so this is found to be this angle is provided and the angle from this is also provided right so that's it now let's change it okay so what we get we get this particular thing so the angle here is 30 degree here is 45 degree so this is 30 degree this is 45 degree okay and the length of the lighthouse is given which is 100 meter long so what are the different values that we have a b is provided which is the length of the lighthouse 100 meters the angle b c a here is 30 degree the angle BDA here it is is 45 degree okay so th these are the different things that we got okay then what we need to find what you need to find uh, let's 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 do this now okay so we get this this angles right so the angle here what we get we get the angle BCA remember this is the angle BCA this is the angle this angle this angle if we consider it normally okay so so let's let's consider a b by a c right a b by a c this is equals to tan 30 degree tan 30 degree right because all the time if we are having some angle that is formed right like that in the opposite portions no angle at this no angle at that part because this is 90 degree what we know what we generally know this angle is 90 degree this is 30 so 90 plus 30 is 120 so this angle should be 60 degree and we know that right let's see whether it requires or not but a b by a c is equal to tan 30 it means it tan 30 means 1 by root 3 if you remember so what we write that a b so what we can write here sorry we can write that a c equals to root 3 into a b we can write it so what is the value the, the value of a b here is 100 into root 3 so it will be 100 root 3 right similarly if we do it for this 45 degree angle so angle at this side so it will be definitely the angle of tan so again again a b by a d a b by a d because this is the angle that is formed so remember all the time when you get the angle definitely it will be the opposite of that line so it is a b by a d again equals to tan 
theta. Theta is 45 degree. So tan 45 degree and it will be equals to 1. Right? Tan 45 is 1. So, so AB equals to 1 into AD or simply AD. And it is also equals to 100 because AB or the length of or the height of the lighthouse is 100 meters. So, it is equal to 100. Right? This is the scenario. So, what we need to find? What we need to find? If the lighthouse is given, so distance between the two ships. So, we need to find this distance. So, we need to find CD. You need to find the CD or the distance between these two things. Right? So, simply mathematical, geometrical situation now. So, we need to find CD. So, we need to get the idea or the length of AC and AD. Because to get CD, let me change the color here. Because to get CD, we need to know the value of CA, sorry. The value of CA plus AD to get it. So, what is the value of CA here? Right? So, CD equals to CA plus AD. So, what is the value of CA? Remember, C or A C same thing. The value we have already pr pr produced, 100 root 3, this one and we get the value here plus AD the value of AD is 100 so the answer is so if this is a scenario so we can take 100 out it will be 1 plus root 3 inside and then 100 1 plus root 3 is simply value of 2.7 C you can use the calculator to calculate otherwise you can't calculate that value so if this is the scenario it will be 270 C meters right this is the distance between the lighthouse and here we come the option C is telling us the distance this is going to be the answer right this is it